Keebler. And this is Miles. He's my grandson. He's my oldest grandson. He um, is helping me today, and hopefully Claire, my granddaughter, will come down and she'll help us too. Um, what we're going to do is take vegetables, like what you have in the house, and when you're finished with them, we're going to make more vegetables out of basically the garbage part. So, we're going to start with, let's start with radishes. Miles, is, you see the radish cup? No, one with the yeah. <laughs> So, Miles wrote everything on the cup so we'll know what's in here. So I'm going to take the radish, I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to cut the top off of the radish like this. Here's the leafy part and here's the, the root part. Now I was just explaining to Miles that when we eat radishes, we eat the part that's the root. There are some vegetables where we eat the root, like potatoes, and radishes. Carrots. Carrots, good, good mom. Okay. And there's a lot of water in here. Radishes don't need a lot of water because they're little. All right, these, these vegetables are going to stay at Miles' house. And he's going to take care of them. And we'll take pictures and we'll update their progress. And hopefully, before I have to finish this, they will be ready to go in the ground. Okay? So we have three radishes. Like Miles' radish. See, we label it to make sure we know what's in there. Okay, set that up there. What should we do next, Miles? This uh, one. Cabbage. This is what I'm a little concerned about because this cabbage, this is called the Napa cabbage. And I don't know if it's going to fit in the cup. Okay. So we're going to take some of the outside of it off and make it a little smaller. You're right, well, a little bit. Okay. I think that's good, but we have to do what, Miles? What do you think? Well, we could do that, but now I think I <laughs> We could take more edges off, or we could add more water. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> now we need less water. But it's not bigger, not bigger. Right. Okay. So, there's our cabbage. Like I said, this is called Napa cabbage. A little bit different than the ball of cabbage you usually have. This one next, Miles. One is new. This one. This one is ginger. Now ginger is even easier to do than this. Ginger is is a spice. We take like shavings off of this, cut little tiny pieces off of it. But this is another vegetable that grows underground where we use the root part. So we're just going to drop that in there. Well, you know what? Put some toothpicks. Do you know where mom put the toothpicks? Maybe this one or something. I think they're either here or yeah, they're on that table. Can you run over there and get some toothpicks for me? How many? I'll get four. What? I'll get four. Okay, four. That's a good start. Here you go. Okay, we're going to put them in here like this.
and something that's growing, a plant that has <laughs> oh right, you've got a mask on, so you can't. Okay, I cut it, but I didn't cut it deep enough, so I have to cut more off. Because, like I told you, there's a seed in the middle. And yeah, the little brown thing. Exactly, the little brown thing. So, we're going to take it off until we can get that seed out of there. Now, the seed is garbage. Nobody eats the seed. But you can grow a real nice plant. Why don't you look at these more? Because the seeds make plants. Exactly. Miles, I don't know if you heard him, but he says seeds make plants. Now, I really, really want to take a bite of that avocado, but I can't because I have this mask on. Thank you. Thank you. We only have one more. So we're going to stick. The toothpicks in here again. Now, this is a seed, so it's a little harder than the plants are. Because it had a harder outside. Exactly. And you're a good helper, buddy. So, um, so, um, I need to put a lot of water. <laughs> That's not very helpful. We might need to put more water in. Well, that would be too much water. Maybe if I made the stick. Oops. Can you oh, get that for me, bud? Naughty cat. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Pop baby car. about the top and bottom. And the top is the part where the greens come out of. This is the part you eat. This is the part that goes underground. And it's a root and we eat it. Water out. Now let's do 
one more quick so they don't just float around in there. It's why I'm putting carrots in yours. Carrots in mine? Okay. And don't forget. And an onion in the other one. Yep. More carrots for you. Okay, now we need to clean up our mess, but okay. here they are. We're going to find a good place to put them. But that's our regular onion, a white onion. This is romaine. This is the sweet potato. These are green onions. This is our ginger, our Napa cabbage, radishes. Don't forget the corn. corn. Right. And what's that one? finished our cutting and we sent it up. Miles and I put them in his little planting bench as you can see here and they're right next to their back door so they'll be able to keep an eye on them, um, tell how they're doing and make sure they have enough water. This is day two and I was shocked to see that the cabbage, that one in the front center, is already starting to turn green. All right, here we are on day three. You can see that the green onions are beginning to grow. The cabbage is larger than it was yesterday. You can see that one of the carrots has got some new green growth on the top of it. The romaine lettuce has a couple of sprouts coming out of the top of it. And if you look carefully between Claire's drawings of, I guess, their people, you can start to see how the onion roots are beginning to get longer. Here we are on day five, as you can see, the cabbage, the romaine, the white onion. It's the first growth we've seen on the top of the onion. We've just seen the roots on the bottom of it before. And the green onions are growing really well. Most of the others have begun to kind of mold and rot, I think because the temperature has been so warm this past week. I've decided to stop taking data on these. Um, I'm going to plant some of them in the ground and see what happens with them. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to have to stop now so that we can get it up where the girls can see it. It's been great. I hope you've enjoyed it.